we finish up this session, um, what you all came to camp for, the, the Cadillac move. You know, we've got the, the civic moves, they're the things that work every day that everybody can do, but you, got, you occasionally got to throw on a Cadillac move, something cool, something to show the girls back home. I'm, I'm going to, real quick, we're, we're going to do an interesting technique, and you'll, I think you'll have fun doing it. Uh, when John and I and, and Bill were back in the old days, when the, when the Soviets and the Sambo, they came along and they did what we call the flying Jujigatami, the flying arm lock. Well, you're not really flying. There's a, there's a method to it. It's really a transition move to get them down, but it does look like you're jumping up and flying across it. It's a pretty cool move. And it, it, people, if we've been playing with it, and it, it's with some success, some not, uh, I think we got it down pretty good, really. And it, it's something you can do with a good ratio of success. It is not a trick move like some people think it is. So it is a solid fundamental skill. I don't know if it's fundamental, but it's a solid skill that can be done. So I want to preface this with saying that. So be careful, practice it, and we're going to teach it to you safely here. Okay. So towards Steve's point, this is all going to basically flow from the same position that, that we were working before with the, the collar tie. Um, you could do it from the, the head and arm, but we're going to step back a bit from that. So when we're doing the Tomonagi to Juji, the idea is to get yourself safely onto the ground, you know, shrimping in. And once you guys have gotten that idea, you've basically got the framework for doing a flying arm bar. The only difference is you've got to be a little bit more aggressive with your hold on. You know, you really got to think about the guy as your safety line. Okay, the last thing I want to do is jump up, not have a good grip on his arm and shoulder, fall down, and I fall five feet down and stump myself. Or even worse, he goes, Ah, wham! You know, we've all seen the, the YouTube videos. Okay, so we're going to keep a good grip on him. And how I know I can hit this one as a flying instead of a Tomonagi to Gigi is if I can pull his head into my shoulder. Okay, if his head is there, he's toast. Okay, I know I can hit it. If he's out here, I still might try it, but I wouldn't recommend that until you get a, a good handle on it. Alright, so if he's out here and you're even remotely worried, go Tomonagi to Gigi until you feel like you can do that in your sleep. If you can do this, Great, go for it, okay? So the key here that we're gonna do is as we come through, before we were taking that step to the side, we were throwing the foot up and then we were rotating down. What I wanna do now is curl under as tightly as you can, okay? I'm not gonna throw my, my leg up here into this armpit. I'm not gonna throw this one up there or this one up there. It's the same exact motion I was doing before. This foot comes up here and then as I rotate under, we transition to the ground. About halfway through, I keep my foot in front of the face. Okay? Keep a hold of everything until you flip them over. All right? So I got to get control of them. Step to the side. Okay? Over he goes. Okay? Look just like the Tomonagi to Juji, right? The only difference is I was in midair when I got the foot over. Right? When I do Tomonagi to Juji, my back is on the ground already. Okay? That's the, that's the big difference between the flying arm lock and Tomoanagi to Juji. Right. We, we've, we've spent a lot of time looking at this. We really have. And, and that's the big difference. You're really jumping up on him, and as you kick your leg over his head, you, you, you're, you're spinning on him doing the Juji Gatami. You could also do the leg jam into the, into the ribs, you know, uh, but this is pretty much basic way we can show you. You can do it the other way, too. I, I find, again, you have to be a little bit more dynamic to do it that way. Okay. Like Eric, you like that version. I know you do, yeah. Eric has that one very, very well. However, again, if you have to take some steps, do it the, the first way, okay? How many of you have heard my back thump on the mat? Right? Okay, now, you'll hear it this time because there's going to be lots of space. Right? What happened? Okay? Too much space. Okay? So that's why I say get the head on the shoulder. Boom, lock, lock. Step to the side. Over we go. Okay. See, there's some key points there. They're really subtle. That's why he wants to park that guy's, Mike's, in this case, Mike, his partner. He's parking, he's anchoring that head, and he's using that head to keep himself up so he can jump under him, yeah. to spin under him, rather than spin there like Tomo and Agi and go under him. Yeah. That's why it works. Pull yourself up, swing under. Yes, you're jumping a little bit, but you're just as much collapsing in your grip so that you stay at that nice tight location, okay? The more distance you have here, the less you're using him like a rope, the more you're gonna thump when you hit, okay? 
let's try, guys. Let's give it a try. Oh, one more time? One more time? Right, okay. One more time. Let me get it a little closer Five here. Step to the side. There we go. Good. That's the standard version of the jumping jujigatami, flying jujigatami, call it what you wish. It's a good tap out. Hey, Eric, let me put you on the spot. Can you work with one of the guys? Show your version where you jam the knee across the ribs because that's a great variation too. That one there, uh huh. And that's the. And, and, and the reason you like that is because you have very long limbs. You have long legs, and, and it works for you. It works for you quite well. So that's a, a great variation that, that has a great element of success as well. So it's a, kind of a knee jam flying jujitsu, Tommy, isn't it? Okay.